Hello, here we are introducing so, uh, uh, Jonathan. Takale. Hello. <clears throat> Here we okay. It's a great honor and a privilege to introduce Jonathan Takala from Ethiopia. We are now in the Knesset, in Jonathan's room in the Knesset. Nice to it's meet such you. an honor and a privilege to meet you. Thank you. I just, uh, for our viewers, Jonathan, I'd like to ask you, uh, where were you born in Ethiopia? I was born in Ethiopia in Nazareth, uh, central part of Ethiopia. Is it far from Gonda? No, 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 in the east part. In the way of the East uh, Ethiopia, Eastern mm -hmm. part of Ethiopia, before you arrived in Asalla, Dredo, Ahar, so 100 kilometers from Addis. Wow. And uh, you grew up in, in, uh, in Ethiopia? You yes, did your I, schooling there? Yeah, I grew up in Ethiopia and I studied. My mom, she uh, grew up, she uh, grew me uh, alone because. My father, when I was three years old, uh, killed by Ethiopian government Oy. because he was a uh, general director of Art Union from British in the 90s, uh, 70s. And uh, so mom, she treated me and she put me in the Catholic school, uh, the private school. So I grew up there and uh, I get, oh, I got a good uh, education. That is my basic. And did you grow up, you knew you were Jewish growing up? I actually, uh, I know my Jewish identity late because she was very secretive and originally she's not Jew, my mom. She converted now here in Israel. But wow. my father, he was very uh, active Zionist Jew. And uh, she, she knows he is a Jew. But, you know, it's very uh, dangerous time. That's why she didn't tell me uh, anything, and I researched my father's identity, and I met my grandmother, my father, my uncles, aunts, all of the family in Gondar, and after two, three months research, also I got a sister from other mother, wow. and both of us uh, made Aliyah in 1990. And how old were you when you made Aliyah? I was 19 years old. 19 years? Yeah. She and was, uh, my sister, she was oh. 13 years old. And she's living here? Yeah, she's living here in Kibbutz. She grew up and uh, she made, she made uh, a military service. Also, I made a military service. We feel uh, good Israeli and good uh, Jewish. Amazing. And was it a very big surprise when you found out that you were Jewish? Of course, because, you know, all of the, my life in the Catholic school, I hear and I learned about Israel is a chosen people, so I was very surprised. Who is this chosen people? Always I ask it, and at the end of the day, when I know, you know, in Africa, you, you don't know you live or not live, because uh, you are born in Africa, you know what is yeah. the situation. So uh, all, all of my life, my mother, she don't want to take, talk about my mother, my father's history, because it's a very, big trauma in my family. She born me and no more she uh, married with another man. She grew up... Uh, grew she remained single? She's single. Uh, uh, you single. How old were you when your father was killed? How old were you? Oh, I was... Uh, me? I yeah. was three years old or something. So like you, don't, you don't remember your father I don't much. remember. Just I remember the picture. Wow. But uh, I hear a lot of uh, about my father. He was very well known a uh, young man at that time, the elders, they made a very big uh, hope for the next generation. One of the men can take this community to Israel, but the communists, they kill him, even they didn't give the body. Wow. Still now we are he very even know. feel and, uh, you know, thanks to God we are in Israel. And how did your mother feel when when you decided to make uh, Aliyah, when you decided, you and your sister, to First come? Of all, did she, your mother come with you to Israel? No, no, no. She made, she came to Israel 11 years after I met Aliyah. So you came, but just you and your sister? Ah, uh, yeah. 
me and my sister and you know there is a lot of family from my father's side so, but my mother she told me uh, in Ethiopia she told me 17 years or 18 years ago the situation in Ethiopia will be very bad so I need to take myself or in Israel or I don't know where so the only a person or boy for her to live abroad so she knows uh, I have access to take her so I start to uh, process in Mr. Daplim in the interior minister and the interior minister first they said forbidden but I make you know in Israel is not easy everything is difficult but I know the way how to survive in Israel uh -huh. because it's a land of democracy, the land of freedom. Yeah. Through that instrument, I bring her, and she studied uh, Torah, and she knows from uh, Christian side. But she studied one year Torah, and she converted to be a Jew. She's very uh, happy to here in Israel because in other side she left the oh, family this, this is there. Amazing, but. On the other side also, she knows the history of Ethiopia and Israel. There's a very close connection yeah. with Queen Sheba and King David. Yeah, and King David and Queen Sheba. And also most of the custom of even the Christian side is coming from Jewish side. So yeah. now everybody is silent, but uh, time will come. There's a, there's a very close truth. connection. Yeah. And Yonatan, can I just ask, when you were growing up as a little boy, roaming the streets in your little village, did you ever think one day that you'd be sitting in the Knesset? No. You'd no. be in the most important, possibly, uh, this is uh, to be in the Knesset in the state of Israel, uh, representing the Israeli government here in, in, the, in, in Jerusalem, in, in the Knesset. If your father would have dreamt, he would have thought this is impossible. This is, from a little boy, look how how you have progressed and you've it's incredible your journey when i was a very little boy always we dream to live in abroad we are very aware from a little boy time till 18 years old because of the situation of the politics yeah. and the government is dictated. and what happened so to your father as well always we want to left from africa from ethiopia so because I was in the private school, I know what's America, I know what's Europe, I know what's Canada. But Israel, not. But when I hear your father, he's a Jew, he's a better Israel, he's a black Jew, I was very proud and even I cry because I am very happy to part of these people because these people, the history I read from Bible. Now I came to Israel and I saw through Hebrew version. That's very, very touched me. That's why I said I am Ethiopian, I am black, I am Jew, and I am Israeli. I am very proud to be in Israeli Knesset, the only Israel uh, part of democracy in the Middle East. We know the neighbors, what's going on. So this is very paradise city. It's amazing. And you know, you I see on your computer you have... Uh, you haven't forgotten your Ethiopian roots? Of course, my motherland. Not, for sure. Yeah. It's wonderful. And you have a picture behind you. Yeah. That is the picture, if you the could. The picture is the elders of Ethiopia and Jews from Gonda. So upstairs you see the temple. They dream Jerusalem. They dream the Jewish land. Because they know the history of themselves coming from Israel. So. It is very, very traditional picture. I like. It's wonderful. Very, uh, I love. If most of them, they are not in life, but the two or three, I meet them, and they, were, they will been work with my father through art organization. Wow. Well, Jonathan, it's been, I must tell you, such a privilege and honor to meet you, and I'm so glad that coming to the Knesset, and I'll just mention while I was today videoing. It's the hundredth anniversary, the centenary of Balfour, yeah. uh, who gave us a who, who said that we uh, enabled the Jewish people to come back to the homeland. 
So seeing the Knesset members and seeing an Ethiopian Knesset member as well, it's very heartwarming that we see democracy, we see the ingathering of the exiles, we see what's in the Tanakh, that we will bring yeah. you back al Khan Fein Sharim yeah. on eagle's wings. Yeah. And I think, did you, there was Operation Solomon, there were all the operations coming from, it was a very difficult journey coming from Ethiopia in those days. Yeah. Yeah. But you did it, and we are so proud of you, and I know your father, who is looking down upon you, must be so proud of you, and your sister, and, and, and your mother, to be here, fulfilling his dreams, the dreams also, of his I people. Also, I have, you know, uh, another surprise. I have two kids. They are women. The uh, first one, she's two years wow, old. Wow, that's wonderful. The second one, she's one year old. And uh, they want to also see, they will see the way of my life and uh, the, the current time of Israel. That is wonderful. Yeah. Well, it's been such a, it's been an enormous enormous honor to, to, to video you, to meet you, and to relate your story. Thank you so much. And also thank you so much. You make me very uh, surprised to do this one. I'm very happy to meet you. Thank you so much. And you should have all of Hashem's blessings, and your for you and your family, you should just have mazel and bracha always. Thank you, brother.